you have to get around individuals that's making ten thousand dollars a month. You have to surround yourself with people that are making more than you, that are making what you want to make. And that also is where the fear come in because when you're around these people, you might feel inadequate. You know, you might feel like, oh man, you know, they're better than me. Or you might feel like, you know, even if you have a lot of confidence, you know, somebody that has the money that you want to make, you, it'll start to arise certain feelings. So you have to pretty much uh, be aware of those feelings and you have to um, understand that those feelings are natural. But the more you're around it, and the more you learn, the more you take in the habits of individuals that's making more than you want to be, you'll start to become a different person. And then the more you do that, you'll start to change and you'll start to manifest the amount that you want. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we have to get out of the fact that we think that this money thing is evil because if you're working a job for money, then I don't want to hear that money is evil. You know, unless you're living in the bush and you're living off the land and you're surviving happily without what you're saying is evil, which is money, then you're being a hypocrite. You're contradicting yourself. And I'm saying that to all the conscious people out there. I'm saying that to all the gangsters out there that's doing crime and making money, not doing shit for the community. Y'all all the same to me, you know, because there's no excuse. There's no excuse to not put your money to good use. There's too much information and ignorance. Is, I don't want to hear that. You know, because just off of you making a certain amount of money, even if you're a criminal, you have access to a different habits than people that don't make a lot of money. So you have learned something and acquired a skill or know a skill that people that work jobs don't. So if you are doing crime, I don't judge that. I get your money. But if you're not putting your money to good use, you're a fool. Period. There's no excuse for ignorance. So... It's very important that we become different types of people because if you're working and exchanging your money for your time for money and you're not happy, you're, you, you're committing a crime and a sin against yourself, you know? So you, we got to make the habits to make us different, you know? So get around the people that's making the money that you want to make. Find out what your financial thermostat is. Ask yourself, how much am I making? Okay, that's what I'm set for. I'm set for forty thousand dollars a year. I want to turn it up to a hundred thousand dollars a year. I have to start identifying what are the habits of a hundred thousand dollar a year person. I want to make ten thousand dollars a month. What are the habits of someone that makes ten thousand dollars a month? You know, you don't have to stop by hanging around people and be phony. You can ask questions. Excuse me. You know, what does it feel like to make this amount of money? You know, ask the people that's doing that. And start um, reading the biographies and become financial literate. Start reading, you know, these financial newspapers. Start watching the financial channels. Start keeping up on finance and start to change your, your internal environment. Give yourself a whole new frame of reference, you know. We buy things every day with our money, but we don't know who owns the products that we purchase. Who manufactures it? What's the name of the companies? What do they do? How do they make money? This puts you in a whole other world, and this is very relevant. Because in order to truly be free in this physical plane, you cannot be a consumer. You have to be a producer. Because consumers don't get respect. Consumers don't get laws passed. Consumers, they don't get anything of value in this country, really in this world. The people that get things of value really make the laws, control things. Um, live happily and get what they want are people that produce. That's that. So we have to switch from consumer to producer. Okay? Because being a consumer, especially in 2010, is suicide. You know? And like it or not, to some degree, this finance um, aspect of life is, is, is stressing most of us out. It's very taxing. We don't understand it. It's a mystery. And yet most of the things that we do is financial. Me talking into this camera is commerce. This, you know, everything is commerce, just like everything is culture. So commerce is cultural. So if you don't have a culture, really, that you can plug into, then you're not going to generate commerce, because every way you make money is linked to a culture. That's just that. Even if you don't deal with any religion, you can plug into a religion or culture and make money. If you look at how, and I'm going to do another lecture on the history of money 
you know, and this is going to be very, very detailed, but just to give an example, if you want to make money like a Jewish person or, or someone that's Hebrew, of the Hebrew faith or the Jew, you know, Judaism, they have a certain way in which they govern money, okay? And you could tap into that no matter who you are, what faith you hold, and make money like that. If you, you know, even though you're not Muslim, there's an Islamic way to um, practice in commerce. There's a Christian way to practice in commerce. So plugging, uh, plugging into a culture is a guaranteed way to make money and asking yourself, how can you give the best value in that culture um, definitely is a surefire way to accumulate money. Even when you work a job, you are plugging into the job culture of the job that you're working at. 